So the Empowerment Ride 2016 is a 3,600 mile bike ride across the country. The plan is to leave on Saturday, July 30 from Santa Monica, California, go all the way up through to Chicago on Route 66, and then from Chicago go north to Grand Rapids, Michigan, and down through Detroit. Being from Michigan, I wanted to make sure that we covered parts of uh, my history and places that I've lived and touch communities that I'm very familiar with. And then from Detroit, go through Pittsburgh on the way to New York City and into New York City on Sunday, October 2. Why a bike ride? Why not? You know, the story of 100 Puddles started with a bike ride. Five years ago, at this point in time, I was basically in a place where I was broken as a dad, not being able to do anything um, to save my son from his heroin addiction. And after 18 months of doing everything that a parent does and experiencing that everything that a parent can experience dealing with addiction in the family, I realized that my life had been completely broken and destroyed. Relationships, my business, my health had all been impacted in my quest to save my son from his addiction. And while he was no better off, what I had realized that my life had completely spiraled out of control. So I made a commitment to ride my bike for an hour a day for 100 days in a row. And it was the journey on my bike at that point in time that saved my life. Not only did it save my life, but it completely changed my life. And it brought me to the place that I am today as a parent with a story, a story of hope and love. And also, too, as a parent of a child with a drug addiction um, who is committed to bringing education and awareness to our community so that we can start doing something, proactively do something, to save the lives of our children and the future children who are going to be impacted by drug addiction in our society. So why not a bike ride? The bike ride is part of the story. Bike ride is as much a part of the 100 pedal story as drug addiction and parenting and hope and love is. You know, when I first thought about the bike ride and you know what I wanted to accomplish with the bike ride, a lot of people say, see it as a bucket list item, some old guy riding his bike across the country. I mean, people do it every day all the time. They do it every day all the time for causes. And while everybody has a personal reason why they would ride their bike across the country, um, I have one too. And it's really two pieces. The empowerment ride is about two things. Number one is systematically going across the country and reaching out and connecting with moms and dads just like me and loved, loved ones and family members who were in the same place that I was in. Suffering, hurt, hurting, lost, confused, and frustrated dealing with addiction in their life. And not only that, but reaching out to people who are dealing with a drug addiction in their life because it's a, it's a horrible place to be and sometimes finding hope is a tough thing. So I just thought that, you know, what a great way to just slowly but surely reach out to people along the way and, and minister to them and offer them love and inspiration and hope that they can get through the struggle of their issue with addiction. And being that um, you know, Christ is a significant part of my life, I do see this as a ministry of love. It's an opportunity to just be in the moment every day of love and commitment and supporting others. And the second piece of it is, is that um, as I'm sharing my story with others, others are sharing their story with me. And we start to build a community of those people who realize that they're not alone. And that we can start to share those stories that are similar to mine, and we can start to assemble and collect those stories that are similar to all family members who are dealing with addiction or people who are struggling with drug addiction in their life, to help create a higher level of awareness that while we all are becoming more and more aware of the issue of drug addiction in our society, it's a great way for us to tangibly and measurably share uh, the truth of these stories that we realize that not only is it in our cities, not only is it in our small towns, but it's everywhere. And everyone has a story. Everyone has an experience. And our society needs to get their head around the truth and the reality of this gigantic issue because it's getting worse, it's not getting better. And until we become better educated through awareness and through the information that something like a bike ride across the country can do, we're not gonna change anything. And that's what 100 Pedals is all about. And that's what this 100 Pedals bike ride is all about. So I hope that you know this answers the question about the Empowerment Ride 2016 and that more people as they hear the story will be, you know, A, interested in joining me on a bike ride, and B, if they can't join me on the bike ride, find ways to support me in their local towns by attending events 
or by making donations so that we can make sure that we can continue the message and share the ministry of love, hope, and opportunity for those who are suffering and education and awareness for those who need to learn more. Thanks.